Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Solo Supreme, and welcome back to Manifest Destiny and Victoria 2 with the Historical Project mod, Kicking Ass and Taking Names. Right now, speaking of kicking ass and taking names, America is invading Canada to annex the rest of Quebec. Hopefully, we only have one more war left with Canada just so we can fully annex them. I believe this should be that war. I think, uh, if I remember, it has to be, like, civilized states have to be, like, a, under a certain number of uh, states they control. So, I think after the next war, once we take this over, uh, on t uh, I mean, Quebec over, we should be able to completely annex Canada. Because after this, they'll only control Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, and the Maritimes. So, that pretty much puts them at four. And I think if i remember correctly they have to be below five for an annexation uh so without further ado let's hop back in look they're, they're mobilizing their <laughs> feeble their feeble defenses against us yes they do not understand the modern marine we got this uh event popped up uh oy, oy, oy. what is going on it I really should have checked this out. Oh, that's in our country. Uh, I mean, this one. Honduras, Brazil, Ecuador, Venezuela. Uh, <sighs> Brazil has it. Chile fell to communist. Okay. Yep. Looks like we're doing Operation Condor again. You bastards. Why? Why, why, why do you have the? Oh, good lord! All right. Uh oh, brilliant! I completely forgot because of the backwards ass infamy system in here. They're not gonna give me military access. Uh, this is why we need a Victoria Three <laughs> because the infamy system. As much as I like it, it's basically like that coalition system in like the newer games, but it's so back, like ass backwards. Oh, you're in my sphere of influence, which means I basically have like virtual political control of your country, but oh, except because I'm the big bad country in here, you're not going to give me military access, even though I basically own you and everything but name. <laughs> uh. The patience that is being tested is amazing right now. Oh well, well, uh, how's this send some guys down to Chile? Looks like we're just gonna have to. You good sir, Alexander Phelps. You uh, will be heading to Chile soon. Looks like you're gonna be spending some time in South America because we're gonna have to like deal with these rebels. Guys, head to Ottawa. You gotta give me what I want? Nope. <laughs> it's not gonna be that easy, Canada. Like, oh god, they're already at a uh, negative 72 war score with us. Probably because we just smashed whatever <laughs> defenses they had left. Uh, I think you guys can hit back. Uh, this is pretty much done. Alright. And with this territory, we should actually link uh, these parts up. Cool. Eh, we'll just smash this little bug. Give us what we want. We're already at 92 war score. <laughs> it's effectively over in Canada. Like, uh, <laughs> I'll just smash whatever you have left, man. I feel so bad for bullying Canada, but this is revenge for the War of 1812. As we all know, America was completely innocent in that war. <laughs> Let's head up here. And if it wasn't for good old British Empire, who knows, who knows? This could have all been modern day history instead of my revisionist history <laughs> in Victoria 2. Okay, they're done. Yoink. Bye. Okay, so... That is completely done. We got five-year truce with them. 
Uh, but now I have to do a little bit of Imperial management by attacking uh, Chile because communists have taken over because of course they have. Yeah, boost up, naval. Come on. We're gonna get you guys down here on the boat. Oh yeah, are our new troops uh, finished? Uh, okay, we can pass another before. Good. Uh, ba ba ba. Input efficiency. Uh, if I remember, input efficiency is just like. You need less uh, raw materials to go in to like get the output, like you know, all the goods manufactured. Uh, or diplomatic influence, and then lowest factory costs. Or we could. I really need education efficiency right now. Uh, Mass politics. The only thing this would, I really want is just for the national focus, but like, you know, this is just. Uh, help boost fascist organization game. We don't really need that right now. Let's just focus on. Um, yeah, let's focus on this one. Let's try to get this one out of the way. It'll be cheaper, and I think we'll finish it by the end of the year. Yeah. Oh, we'll actually finish it in a few months. Alright, so people want. Looks like more people want uh, more safety regulations. Uh, okay, let's just do this because it'll lower our militancy by a little bit. There we go. Alright, you hit them here. Alright, you guys are heading down to the coast of Chile. We gotta kill some goddamn communists again. Yep, revolution. <laughs> Denmark fears our might. Peru, Bolivia is at war. Uh, okay, looks like Venezuela got its act together. Uh, it looks like in Honduras, who are these? Militant socialists are gonna flip them again. Yep, looks like we have to make sure South America does not fall to communism because it seems that that seems to be the trend. Like, I'm okay with. <laughs> It's so dumb because I was just like reading up on Operation Condor recently and <laughs> it's funny because I'm basically doing exactly that but more in an overt fashion. Alright. Alright, Chile, uh, we're gonna put you back in our sphere of influence. I don't care that you're like, <laughs> that you're communist right now, but what I do care for is uh, you're in my sphere of influence. You're gonna come back to us. And to be punished, Venezuela and Peru, Bolivia are gonna like get what they want. And I'm basically gonna be invert helping them. So. Speaking of, hey y'all, uh, we'll, we'll come help you guys out. We'll help you guys out. We gotta punish them like one way or another. So we'll help you guys take a little chunk of Chile. Oh lord, what's going on down here? Uh, voting fraud. Uh, gain three militancy. Let's just, let's just do that. What in the? Oh, goodness. Of course, now communist uprisings are happening all over the world at this point, which is, you know, more like realistic, uh, I have to say. But the most important communist uprising. Like, I will be highly disappointed if the Stogel Project Live does not have, like, give Russia an event for, like, uh, the October Revolution. I will be truly surprised at that. Alright. Oh, hang on. Chile, come here. <laughs> come here. We got we gotta beat you. Oh <gasps> It happened! Irish became independent! Yes! <laughs> yes! My the the dream I had long ago for an independent island! Hang on, let's, let's focus on, let's focus on, hang on, Ireland, we're, like, I know you hate us because we're an infamous nation, but we will, like, be our friend. They, they start out with 242 brigades, holy hell in a handbasket. 
that revolution was large. Ooh! Yes! Oh, the UK! Oh, they must be hurting after that. That, that must have been like a real hard punch in the gut for them. Yes! Okay. Hey, let's 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 focus on like improving relations with Ireland. I kind of want to get though into my sphere. Um, I forgot I had Italy, <laughs> the People's Republic of Italy, in my sphere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's focus on uh, Ireland. I kind of want to get just like just a little nudge in Great Britain, like just a little punch in the ribs for them. Let's try to rapidly improve our relations. Seems that South Peru is starting to get piled up on. I'm gonna also put some points in the them. Uh, speaking of, where is it? South Peru, that's Peru, Bolivia. And increase relations because why not? Hey guys, we're here to help you. We're destroying the Chilean military right now. They built up a sizable force, but you know they dared revolt against their masters. All right. Yes, imperialism. And I should punish the prohibited from raising armies and lose. That, you see, I don't want to, I kind of want to do that just for the extra income, but I know they don't have much in the way of income. And I kind of don't want to do that because that'll make them more prone to revolutions. And I don't want to have to keep coming down here every now and then. I mean, I could... If it wasn't for this stupid fucking enemy thing, good lord. If it wasn't for that, I would like just base some troops down here in South America. All right, so that's done. Let's focus on economic responsibility. Uh, get that boosted up so we can get some more uh, diplomatic relations points per month, especially after that, uh, uh, that kick down we have. Yeah, Honduras collapsed. We shall go back down here. Yep, looks like it's just gonna be Imperial management for right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will give you guys this. Oh, would you look at that? Okay. Okay, this isn't bad. Kill them. <laughs> Kill these rebels. Oh, wait, oh, they got them. Oh, good. Good job, Samuel Chapman. Good job. Good on you. <laughs> uh, just to make that uh, so much easy to handle, Liberia is being fondled with by France. Get away. People's Republic of Italy is being fondled with. Uh, speaking of fondling, even though this has absolutely nothing to do with the term, uh, looks like Yugoslavia might be a flashpoint. Uh, anywhere else in the world? Oh, it looks like Indian nationalists. Ooh, the weakening of the British Empire uh, could trigger independent India. Mm -hmm. If anything, uh, oh, and then, oh, bye. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, what is this? The Canadian Liberation Movement. Oh, come, come on. You guys, we're practically the same. You know, you know. Speaking of, let me upgrade the forts out here. I, you know, I really have neglected upgrading the forts, and mainly that's just because, uh, just look at look at us. The sheer amount of territory any other state would have to come through to like hurt us is just ridiculous. And the only major competitor we have down here is what like Mexico and I say that in terms of relative size Canada is about to be eating up soon so we don't gotta worry about them I am worried about like putting these damn communists in their place all right looks like we're gonna have to go all the way to the capital you're really gonna make me go this far all right get flashpoint tension did I say the Kula Khanate fears us? Let's see, what did I say? Kabu Khanate fears our might. First off, I don't even know where the hell you are. Uh, if I had to make a guess, let's see. 
I think it would have to be that's that's Kiva. I have I have no idea. <laughs> Kula Khan, that's Tana Tula. Oh, here. These guys in the middle of butt fuck nowhere bears our might. This is, they're literally uh like one little state. You guys, I would be more worried about China or Russia or even, hell, Japan or any other state over here than me. I have no business, like, in Asia, uh, except for that one time where France kind of stole Vietnam from me, but let's not talk about that. Let's just talk, <laughs> let's just talk about, oh my! Whoa, look at this! Hey, where's the revolt map, revolt map, revolt map, where is it? Yeah. Oh, can I... Oh, I can't. I can only check mines, but uh, oh my, my revolt risk is kind of high in Canada, but especially Quebec. But you know that's to be expected. But let's look at this. India is falling right now. Like, I think I, guys, I think my objective had worked. I think because of all the wars, especially that last one. The UK got into me. I think I have basically caused the collapse of the British Empire. <laughs> Look, Indian nationalists have risen up all over the place down here. Like, and they are currently, like, occupying some other territories. Like, are there any in Pegu? And, oh, yeah, they got some in Bengal. Uh, oh, yeah, it, it looks like India may become independent, folks. Looks like they probably, they have a firm grip on Africa, but they, they just lost Ireland. Yeah, it looks like, oh yeah, I know UK, <laughs> you are pissed. Let me crank it up to a higher speed, uh, just to get these ticks down faster. Oh yeah, it's like, yeah, the sun is shining brightly on the United States right now. And it looks like they got the war goal as well. Um, once I peace out this war, they're just gonna come in and just swoop the rest of this up. Chile is completely done militarily. Uh, I think because of my strength and what I've done, I also shifted the power in Western Europe because normally at this point, there will be a couple wars going on down here. I, I don't see anything. Let's check relations map mode. And of course, North German Federation is hated by everyone except Finland, Norway, and Spain. <laughs> like, Western Europe just hates them. UK, same case, kind of, but they're friendly with Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Portugal, Austria, the Ottoman Empire. Okay, what about France? France is friends with Russia, Denmark, and looks like they kind of improve relations with Ireland. Okay. Austria, hated by everyone except the UK. Good. <laughs> <laughs> People's Republic of Italy is hated by everybody. <laughs> Ottomans. Looks like they try to repair relations with the North Germans. What about Russia? Yeah. China down here. There are China's almost westernized. I wonder if like, you know, they'll probably challenge Russia. Well, they could possibly even challenge the UK down here. I wouldn't be surprised if like after uh, China westernizes they try to go take back uh, Western Manchuria be From like Britain which in turn took it from Russia which in turn took it from China You figure that one out folks, and I forgot I should probably should have made that many uh, little Forts, but yeah, it's no big deal Chile 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 uh, Let's just do that uh, because we're already at war, though. Are you about to surrender now? No. You're really not. Let's do that. We don't really have to dig deep and greedily like right that. Come on, Chile. You're making this harder for me for no damn reason. If I just want you to surrender. Okay, there. They surrendered. Now let's get back up to Honduras. That's done. 
And let's also do this one to activate oil. All right. You guys are back on the ships. Now, you guys got to sail up here and... Well, actually, you can just sail off the Bay of Costa Rica. Let's go up here and continue with our little Imperial management. Declare war, add to sphere. At least you're back to a republic now, Honduras. You're not damn communist. Well, you're a socialist republic, but... Uh, well, you're a republic. Well, yeah, socialist republic. Let's not get into any technicalities. Uh, okay, so you guys hop off the boat, go straight into the capital. I, I, I'm sorry you guys had to go through all this. Uh, you, you guys should be at home with your families, eating biscuits and waffles. We have something to do. We have to uh, increase our influence throughout the world. Uh, it seems that you are trying to be a bastard in the Philippines. Let me boost the relations up a bit down there just to, like, you know, help keep the Spanish out. If not, I'll just ban them from the Philippines. Uh, looks like they're gonna try. Spain, do not make me go to war with you. Alright, this should be it. Uh, no, this is one more province and it's done. There. You're back within our sphere. Don't do that again. I hope you can handle those Jacobins. Alright. And pop you guys back off in Baltimore. Mission accomplished. The King episode. First to the South Pole. Oh, Japan. First to the South Pole. How dare they? And Ecuador. Could you guys please give me military access? No. Oh well. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with your shenanigans. Alright. You're pissing me off, Spain. Go away. There. I gotta maintain what little empire I have left. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm so excited. Another crisis event. Uh, Yugoslavia. Hmm. Looks like I kind of want to do this, but let's also uh, give our people what they want. Like, I'm I'm willing to give out pensions. It, it'll increase our immigration attraction. I'm okay with that. Uh, pass some social policies, but anyway, let's see. So, uh. Wait. Hold up. Crisis over the liberation of Bosnia Herzegovina. Uh, so, okay. Demands. Okay, so Yugoslavia is over here. Wait. That's kind of weird. Uh, okay, so this is Yugoslavia. This is Bos. Okay, so. I don't know, who the hell is that? Uh, unless that is the flag from Bosnia and I'm just being an ignorant pleb. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Wait, 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 what? That's Albania, wait. Where's Montenegro? Uh. Yeah, this is Montenegro right here. But, wait, I'm confused. Why is it like that's Montenegro's flag? Alright. I... Uh, Yugoslavia. Uh, I wasn't really allies with Yugoslavia in the first place. Uh, and then this is the Balkans. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to see if I can join the other side. Is anyone going to join? No, I don't think anyone's going to join. Here. 
I'll, I'll do it just to grant you freedom. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh. <laughs> I looks like I kind of destroyed Yugoslavia a good, like. <laughs> about, uh, 60, 70 years before the fact. Yeah, uh, so Bosnia is released, uh. But they released our sphere, so we have another sphere laying down here, uh, in the Balkans. That's, uh, I mean, that's something, I guess. They're not gonna ally us, of course. Uh, and we gained a little bit of chunk of prestige from that, but all the other powers sat that one out. I think because they all are weak. Even when I didn't decide to join on Yugoslavia's side. Oh, I think that's probably the reason, one of the main reasons why as well, because as you can see, like everyone like around the corner doesn't have no positive opinion of them. Like, Austria hates them, North Germans don't like them, France, pretty much France, UK, and Russia are indifferent. Even though Russia liberated Yugoslavia, uh, that was just weird. Uh, let me see. I think I'm uh, about to wrap this video up because, um, I think that was it. Uh, let me see. But other flashpoints, because that crisis went off. I kind of ticked it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so it seems that the next possible flashpoints could be uh, up here in, like, you know, the North German Federation, down here in Spain, and that's pretty much where we can look forward to. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this video up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the series thus far. We are reaching the near the end point. Uh, hit that bell for notifications just to keep up with any new uploads leave a like uh comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and like you know keep up with our little victoria 2 adventures and with that said i hope to see you guys again soon i'm just like look at this we have an independent ireland like ireland did this by itself i remember early on like one of my earliest wars with the uk i said maybe i should fight them and like liberate ireland and give them like a one-two punch but after like the bog down in like you know southwest england and then dealing with canada i kind of let go of that dream but ireland with all this gumption did it by did it on its own uh like i'm surprised this is like the first time i've ever seen uh ireland uh proclaim independence on its own without like me going in and breaking apart the british empire like i am truly uh surprised at that like, they have enough units to maintain their independence, too. I see, look at this. Oh, the Irish Navy. They're, they're, building, <laughs> they're building some boats up. They're trying to maintain their independence. Okay, Ireland, I see you. I see you. Uh, it looks like the UK is losing more troops. I think India. Oh, yeah. India is bogging down. Uh, I think we're possibly, by the end of this area, we may see, like, an independent air, uh, India come true. I am almost certain of that fact. Speaking of certainty, uh, do they have a truce? With, I think that's me right there. Yeah, we have a truce with them for another six more years. Ally, ally. Hmm. Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Kind of. I might go to war with Portugal. Uh, did Haiti fall to communism? Yes, they did. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Korea, unsurprised Korea. Oh yeah, I forgot about that silly, that silly Billy war between Japan and Korea. Complete embarrassment, Japan. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to focus our ambitions to somewhere else. Uh, Austra mm. Australia is like you know they're protected by the UK. Uh, so, the, okay, they're a puppet. But yeah, you can't release them as a puppet. We could go to war. I think, like, I wish Australia, like, Australia is separated in one, two, three, four, five, six, six different parts. Uh, that would require a little bit of ambition. I would like to get Australia. We'll see where this goes, because the UK 
Uh, let's check out their main allies. Is Portugal, Austria, ba -ba -ba -ba. Denmark don't care, Sweden don't care, Portugal don't really care, Ottomans. It's just like the territory involved uh, would be massive, but since UK is the war goal and they are like a uh, fading power, they basically are in the throes, like the death throes right now, we should be able to like, you know, pick them apart a little bit more. Let's just build up some more troops. I see our boys down here already. Uh, I really should wrap this video up. Uh, uh, okay, so I shall see you guys again soon. This is Soul Supreme and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.